Tips for first time horse owners, part seven. How to properly bridle your horse. So the first part of bridling your horse is just let that lead rope go. I know a lot of people get concerned about that lead rope. And if I have a horse that's not bridling well, I'm gonna leave the halter on. And then after I'm done bridling, I'll just unclip the rope from the halter, okay? Now, by leaving the halter on, it gives me something to hold on to with my horse because the first step is making sure that they'll lower her head. So she did a good job there, but I'm gonna pick her head up there, okay? And I'm just gonna make sure that that head is nice and low. There's two ways you can do that. One is just add a little bit of pressure right underneath the clip of the halter here until she lowers. And the moment she lowers, I'm gonna stop pulling. I'm gonna wait there. I'll take a deep breath and I'll rub on her. The other way you can get her to lower her head is by taking your hands right by her ears here. There's these little kind of indentations at the base of the ear. You can see she doesn't really like that, but I'm gonna gently just add a little bit of pressure until she moves down away from it, okay? So once she moves away there, I'll give her a rub. Again, I'm just gonna do that again. Get her in the habit there of lowering that head. Notice again, whenever she lowers, I give her a rub, take a deep breath, let her know she made a good decision. So I wanna start out with getting her in the habit of keeping that head low, okay? So now that she has that head low, I'm gonna to go to passing my reins over her neck. So I'm just gonna slide them over her, and that way my reins are out of my way. And then I'm gonna pass the crown of my bridle, so this top part, to my right hand. And I'm just gonna hang it right kinda of over her face right here. Now, if she goes back, I'll go back with her, she goes down, I'll go down with her, but I'm gonna keep that bridle right in front of her, all right? So now I'm gonna pick up on her face here, because that's a little too low for me. And then I'm gonna guide it right into her mouth. Now, again, notice I'm not just shoving it into her teeth. I'm waiting for her to relax. I'm waiting her, for her to stop moving backwards. And now when she's relaxed and she opens up her mouth on her own, then I'll go ahead and I'll slide the bit right into her mouth. No fight, no struggle, just helping her to be soft and relaxed and quietly get her to accept that bit. And lastly, once we get that bridle on, we're gonna go ahead, reach underneath, grab that throat latch and buckle it up. You want that throat latch to have about two fingers that way it's not too snug, but you don't want it so loose that that bridle could 